Sandra, welcome back to my channel. Now, this video is part of a playlist on special crochet techniques. So these are techniques that will take your crochet skills to the next level, right? So not just the basic stuff. Now, today we're working on an I chord. Now, an I chord is something that is usually used in knitting. And uh, for example, I use it in my Hoi An top and, uh, and it's like a little tube that goes around so you can use it as an edging or you can also use it as, as straps. For example, in a bonnet, you can use it as a little strap. Uh, now, if you want to use the I cord as an edging, uh, I do have another tutorial for that and I'm going to put the link over here for you. Um, now, you can go to that and learn how to make an I cord, like to use it around your neck, for example, or maybe around your sleeves. Um, so that's a different technique. Now today we're going to learn how to make the eye cord on itself like that, like this for the strap. So this is my new bonnet. This is the Water Lilies bonnet. And, uh, and this eye cord looks very much like knitting, but it is not knitting. It's actually crochet. Can you see it there? Now I'll show you closer with the other camera. And I will teach you how to make this with a crochet hook. So what do you need now? You need a crochet hook to match your yarn. I'm going to use a four and a half millimeter hook and a DK yarn and also a knitting needle. If you don't have a knitting needle, this is a little one that is double pointed, which makes it smaller and it's a little bit easier to use for this kind of work. But if you don't have a small needle like this or any needle at all, you can use a small crochet hook or even a pencil or a pen or something pointy like that. That will also work for you. All right, so let's get started and uh, let's make an eye cord. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make a chain. So I will chain three. Now one, two, and three. Now. Uh, now that I have my chain, I will insert my hook into the second chain and pull up a loop, then into the first chain and pull up another loop. Okay, I'll show you again. So I have three chains and I will pull up a loop on each chain. So the last one, it's already out on my hook and then on the second chain and then on the third chain. Now, the, the usual way to make an I chord in crochet is that you take off your hook out of the first and the second loop and holding on to them with your fingers, you wrap your yarn and pass it through the first loop on your hook and put it back into that loop, pull it through and then you pull it, put it back again into your other loop and pull it through. Now, that is very much doable. However, I find it very difficult to put my hook back into those loops. So what I do is I use a knitting needle and I pass my hook onto my needle. I mean, sorry, I pass my loops onto my knitting needle and then I can freely work my stitches. So I chain one and then I pick up my other loop Now that it's in there, I chain one and I pick up my other loop and then I chain one. So I'll show you again. I pass two onto my needle. needle. Oopsie. And now that it's in the needle, I can chain one on my first loop, then pass my loop onto my hook again, chain one. And then I pass the last loop on my hook again and chain one. Now, as you see, it's like making this little tube of material and at the back, it will close. That gap will close eventually. So I can try again a few more rows so you can see it. One, two. Okay, I like to tighten it a little bit if I'm going to keep it on the hook, on the, on the needle. Chain one, pass my loop over, chain one, pass my loop back onto the hook, 
and chain one. What we're actually doing is knitting with a crochet hook because this is the exact same way that you would make it with a knitting needle except we are using a crochet hook. And yes, another needle to help us and we don't need to hold it with our fingers. Okay, now that I've worked, you know, let's say that this is how long I want my eye cord to be. You see it's like a little tube. Then how I close it, if I want to fasten off, I would simply yarn over and pass through all three loops. Okay, so to fasten off my eye cord, I yarn over and I pass through my three loops. If I don't want to fast enough, if I want to work on my eye cord at the end, like in my in my bonnet, I want to work after this with make the body of the bonnet after my after my eye cord, what I do is that I pass through one loop, then I yarn over, pass through the next loop, then I yarn over and pass through the next loop. And then I can work right there. So now I have three stitches. I can work one stitch in the first space, one stitch on the next one, and then the next one. And now I can work like I would do any regular crochet row. So I'll show you again how I did that. So I finished my eye cord with three loop loops on my hook, right? So then I yarn over and pass through the first loop, then I yarn over and pass through the second loop, and then I yarn over and pass through the last loop. And that's it. And then I can work in each one of those loops as if it, as if it were a stitch. So I would make one stitch on this loop then one more stitch on this loop and then one more stitch on the last loop. And now I have a regular crochet row connected to my eye cord. Alright, well I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial and now that you know how to make an eye cord you can use it in your own designs or maybe to embellish something that you already have or maybe even as a belt for a dress or something like that. And uh, I love this technique. It's super handful, super useful, and it actually looks really, really pretty as well. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you use this tutorial in the future. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.